This story begins like many other games in this genre, on a dark and stormy night. This is, of course, only for dramatic effect. Adding to this drama, we see the main antagonist busy with evil deeds. This is used as comic relief, but also to establish character. All villains need a loyal and annoying servant that ultimately will betray his master in the end. This story is no exception and has chosen Sullivan for the task. My lord, the experiment has escaped. He pants. Two things. First, sound the alarm and activate all the traps. The immortal annoyedly replies. And if he somehow should make it out, I'm sure the dragon... I'm sorry, Wyvern wouldn't mind a snack. Second, you need some exercise. Sorry, but if I sugarcoat it, you'll eat that too, he continues. This tranquility. Every hero has a sidekick that, for no apparent, we picked Lucy, our hero.
Gnomes are your main sources of... Congratulations, you One got taken to school. Pages are torn out by Yay Yay Abrams. Looks promising. Could definitely use some more lens flares, though. the immortal. <laughs> Include IO stream int main. The rest is just an even more unreadable mess. At this point, something interesting needs to happen. How about some orcs having trouble connecting to their Wi-Fi, for example? No, not good enough. Take a look at this big pressure plate instead. Hmm, interesting. Yes! This outcome probably didn't come as a surprise to anyone, except for Sullivan, who got very surprised to see the prisoner, our hero, escape on a killing spree in the dungeon. This perfectly wraps up the introduction, though. Let's continue. Oh, would you look at that!
These traps don't make any sense. Who even designs living areas like this? Oh well. to hurt. Crack open a cold. A bit over, a bit over refreshed and hungry, but looks. A bit, a bit over refreshed and hungry, but looks pretty happy. Woohoo! You got yourself a magic stick filled to the brim. Now that we have reached the end of the tutorial level, the player is ready for the actual game. But here's also the mandatory deadly swinging trap section with a jumping puzzle, just as expected. First line support is going to have a tough time with that.
decided we are completely done with our hero as well. It's time to let things go. Fine. Let's show what really happened. This mysteriously bobbing ghost lady is Melisan. She asked who our hero was and where he came from. Melisande paid. She asked our hero if he had some outrage. She ex also. Wow! 